This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome right back here with another episode of Near Automata. In the last episode, we uh, helped uh, we helped gather some uh, desert roses for some hot twins there. Hoping for some twin action later on, if you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. Quests. More quests. That's what I meant. What do you all think I was going to do? Um, and ran around, so... And did other things. Off screen, I... Tried to grind for some stuff, but I lost an hour of progress because I died somehow, and I and I didn't save it. So I'm kind of peeved right now. <laughs> Let's just play the. That's why I started recording. I was like, you know what? I'm done with I'm done with grinding for materials. So um, yeah, it's about those twins over there. They're making out with each other right now. Yeah, they watched Game of Thrones re recently. Thought they would uh, try it out, see if it was anything they were into. They're snogging it right now. What? They haven't forgiven them. What'd they do? And why are they here? <sighs> Thanks for that, um, Anemone. You are the best side character ever. Alright, let's talk to them. Uh huh. Tree sap? Well, if it's in the same place I need to go for the plot, that'll save me some time. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, why don't they do it too? You know, oh, tongue tied, huh? Now you sh won't shut up. <sighs> Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> I better kill and crap. Well, you know, it's kind of weird how they say crap and stuff like that, yet this game is mature rated. You'd think they would go the extra mile, but whatever. I mean, sure, don't curse for no reason, because. The point of cursing is supposed to be shocking or funny, but if you do it too much, it loses its it loses its punch. But yeah, whatever. Tree sap, huh? All right. Can't keep what? Can't keep what? You're not gonna tell us, are you? Fine. Where the heck right. am I gonna find that? Search already performed. Regions rich in tree sap marked on map. Well, aren't you a helpful little box? That ought to be enough sap. Time to head back. Oh, I got that already. Ha <laughs> ha. See, I already did what you were trying to do by getting stuff off screen. Yeah, sure, it was difficult. She's asleep. Or she's drunk. Don't drink and sell items, children. Yeah, so, uh, sometimes people need a libation every once in a while. Nothing wrong with that, as long as it doesn't control your life like everything else does. Hmm. Alright. Oh, okay. Okay. I pressed the X button to skip, and for some reason I jumped. <laughs> yep, spirits. Back in the day, that's what alcohol used to be called. Sp I forgot why, though. I could probably look it up, but I'm not going to right this second. God damn, off my booze. Yeah, I know when I've had a few. Hmm. A belt? What, are we going to whip our ass? Okay, whatever. Uh, sure. We get our booze. Hmm. All right then. Neat. All right, anything else? No. Okay. All right. Before we go on to plot, I want to grab. I want to grab something I found before my game. F before I died on a, uh, somehow. On no, I I know how I died. One of these spinner guys got me, at, and one of their um, side things popped off, and they're explosive. You know that they, they have that timer, whatever. And I was just in the right place at the right time where it did so much damage to me, it straight up killed me, and I didn't realize it until the game froze. I was like, what the hell? And I died, and I was super pissed. Because, yeah, I lost, like, two hours of progress or something like that, of grinding progress. I didn't grind that much because some of the drop rates for the rare items are kind of annoying. Um, like, annoyingly difficult to, to get. I don't know, maybe I just got a bad... Um, Oh yeah, these guys here drop the stretched coils, which I need for like some of my weapons. They're like one of the few things I don't have a ton of. Luckily, they're right here, right in front of the, um, right in front of the resistance base. At least on path C. On path, any other path, I think you have to go to the forest and the desert to find. Uh, yeah, you have to go to the desert, I believe, and the forest. I think has a couple of those units too, but it has to be those like stacking units or whatever. Um, I also found it off screen that I missed quite a few, uh, well, I was kind of grinding and then running around at the same time just to see if I missed anything, and apparently I missed a couple of locked, uh, chests, so I'll have to get those whenever we play as 9S, whenever we beat this, um, 
So yeah, I was kind of surprised how many of those I missed. I thought I found them all from the list, but I, I guess I must have skipped over one by accident. Um, yeah, if you go over to the the uh, blade here, there's a uh, item you can get. Um, it's a rare, well, supposedly has rare drops. You can either get healing items, a crystal, or a small gadget, which is what I need. Um, yeah, go, go gadget. Um, I need that for my pod upgrade, or one of them anyway. Um, but that was a rare drop, unfortunately. So I think someone, I think Emil eventually sells it later whenever we get to that point. But that's after you have to beat the game and do all these quests to get it, which is kind of annoying. Uh, nope, this one didn't spawn. There's supposed to be a small gadget that spawns there, but for some reason it doesn't respawn. I know some uh, some areas, some, some stuff doesn't guarantee respawning because of the way they're set. I might have to leave the area completely maybe to do that, but okay. Let me go and show you that one item I found. I found this by a complete accident. I wasn't even I wasn't even paying attention. I was just kind of I caught I started climbing this ladder thinking, oh, okay, I'm just, it's just gonna take me up to the next floor. But then I realized it keeps going up. Okay, it's not as entertaining as the uh, the uh, ladder climbing sequence from Metal Gear Solid 3. That's one of those weird sequences that you think wouldn't work, but I don't know, just the music, the the atmosphere, what just happened, and then you just see him climbing up the ladder. Uh, just something about that scene. It's kind of weird. But yeah, no, this ain't the same scene as, as that. It's kind of boring. There's not much to it. It's because it's a, a secret thing that you could easily miss if you weren't paying attention. Like I said, I only found it by just messing around a bit. I was actually trying to grind small gadgets and uh, in this area, and... Uh, and I found out some of those other ones don't drop it. Only a certain couple uh, places do that. But yeah, I've been having bad luck with those respawning. So maybe I should just wait till the end of the game when we can buy a lot of those. Uh, a lot of them you can't buy, but there's quite a few of them you can. But I don't know. Because if I want to get the final side quest in the game, I have to upgrade all my weapons to level 4. And I'm still missing quite a few weapons. Whether it be from chest or side quest or whatever. Yeah, see how see how uninteresting this is just going up this ladder thing here. Well, you'll be surprised about what I find. Although people who play this game probably already know what I'm talking about or have already would already figured this out already. So, yep. Uh, so, if we pop up here, you wonder where Adam and Eve were the whole time. Well, there you go. That's there. That's that thing they were sitting on the whole time. Oh yeah, and we also get the rare. We get a, a key item, Adam's glasses. But yeah, there there's where they were. Uh, eating apples and drinking wine right here. Now, can you beat them before the story plot? I have no idea. I don't think so, but but yeah, it's uh, you find Adam's glasses. It's just an equipable. Um, <laughs> make you feel more intelligent. Well, there you go. All right. We... Yeet. Okay. Oh, hello. I did not notice this here last time I was here decoy program from a dead uh oh yeah that's another thing i need to look up i need to look up um uh how to get the rest of the pod programs i'm missing one pod specifically like a pod you can actually use in combat oh, we're not too bad 70 70 percent quests uh 82 percent pod programs those are all the uh so i'm only so i think every percentage gives me like five percent i think so I'm mi well, maybe not five, maybe like six or something like that. So I'm missing like three more pods, I think, programs. So that's not too bad. What does decoy get us? Uh, decoy creates an image of the user drawing the attention of foes and firing upon them with the ra the pods ra ranged attack. Hmm. Huh. Uh, might look into that. Um. Let's see. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna teleport to our next location now. Um, there's probably other secrets I haven't found yet, but that was the one I noticed. Um, oh yeah, there's a couple other things. Oh, uh, Emil apparently has something new to say if you, uh, stop his thing. He mentions, uh, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll capture him later, but I don't want to do it right this second. Oh yeah, let's quick save so I don't freaking have to redo everything if I freaking die. Um, yeah, Flooded City has some different content. Um, I don't know if I have to go back there later. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do too much plot today, but uh, I just wanted to show you what I found and what... That! Ah, poor moose! <laughs> poor moose and squirrel! It's got hit! Uh, by a random robot. Um, 
I might try to see if I can I can get the item. There is like an item here that you have to get. Um, uh, I'll see if I can try to get. It. I won't take too long on it if I don't get it immediately. Um, but we'll see here in a second. Also, obviously, I still need more pure waters. Yeah, I'd actually gained a lot of pure waters from this, and I lost all that because I died. That that actually annoyed me the most because pure waters don't drop as often. Although sometimes you'll get lucky and you'll get like a uh, where all almost all the um, collectibles are pure waters. But unfortunately, since I lost all that, I have to grind all that all over again. I think you can also buy pure waters later. I believe. Well, I got one, so maybe this Whoa. might be a good. What's that? Unknown. You're useless. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was what I wanted to show you was the, um, whatever that is. Uh, yeah, at least I got a pure water, so coming back here was actually worth it. Um, I could probably do it here. Oh, do I have to actually have it equipped to? Okay, let me see if I can set somewhere else. Or maybe because I'm in combat. Let me clear out some of these dudes. I basically want to fish. And I fall in the water. Great. Maybe you can't. Maybe there can't be any enemies nearby for me to fish or whatever. I took off the fishing chip because I, I wanted to save some room for the pod thing. Because I've noticed how much of those, like... Um, I noticed how many of the like random pod programs that you can equip on your chips, like a lot of them aren't really necessary. You could easily not have them on there. Like there's a one that tells you like where you can fish. But I guess that would kind of be kind of annoying if you can't. Um, maybe you have to be on flat land to do it or something. Like that let me let me drop over here. Uh, can you stop attacking me, please? Thank you. Maybe I can fish right here. If not, I can always, uh... Okay, there we go. If you fish in the Pacific Ocean, which is where this is facing out to, I, the, I guess the way fishing works is if, if the... If the... If it either gets... If you ever see the pod, like, go right under the water, or if it gets pulled, like, really fast in one direction, then that's when you need to push the the like the ca cast and reel in because that's when you'll get a fish apparently. Um, at least that's what I've noticed from from fishing here. Usually it doesn't take too long, so I'll uh, let me go to another Catch spot watch. actually. That wasn't complete. Yeah, if you say so. Uh, let me, let me finish here. Yeah, I think it was a. Uh, I think it was because I was in combat. It wasn't letting me uh, fish. I'm not really a big... I mean, at least this fishing mechanic's a little straightforward for the most part, but I don't know. I'd rather... I'm trying to think of any game like where the fishing mechanic was like really... There we go. Um, I'll either get a fish or... Nothing? Oh, I got a water flea. Okay, that's a type of fish. I don't know if I'll be able to get this, because uh, as far as I re uh, read, all you have to do is fish in the Pacific Ocean, which is... Uh, which suggests the flooded city because that's the only place that's specifically the Pacific Ocean. But, uh. And then you just, yeah, press. Oh, we got it! Alright, it only took two tries. Or I guess technically three. Yep, this is where you get the final pod of the game. Really just catch a pod? Hypothesis. The owner discarded this pod and left it in safe mode. Motives unknown. Check and see if I can use it. Activation complete. Access granted. Previous owner ID successfully overwritten. Special weaponry now available. Yep. All right, and we get the uh, achievement for that pod under. That's for finding all three pods. Yeah, there's only three pods in the game. Uh, let's. I don't actually know what this pod, the third pod, actually does. Oh, laser pod deploys a protect to bury the block. Oh, that's actually not bad at all. Uh, that's for obviously for those who were. I, I assume if it's projectiles, I assume it blocks any of the uh, uh, balls, so that actually wouldn't be too bad. Well, I wish I'd found that a long time ago, but the thing is, unless you're really into fishing, you'll easily never find that final pod, um, which is kind of annoying when you think about it, but oh well, what can you do? Gotta have some secrets, right? Um, 
Yeah, who would... Well, I, like I said, if you're into the fishing mechanic, yeah, you'd fish in every single water spot to try and find all the all the different type of fish. But, okay. Well, since I'm doing fishing right now, let's get the final... Um, what would be the closest place for that one? I think probably near the tower probably be the fastest... Um, uh, would that be the closest? Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, next place we need to go to is the sewers next uh, that we follow on our way to the um, uh, the uh, amusement park has one as well. Um, but that's it. For fishing, only two major items can be got by fishing. And the one is the pod, obviously. And the two is, is an item we can get, or a weapon. Um, after that, you just do it for the fish, which can be sold. And I didn't read anywhere that the fish can be due under, other than being sold. That's all they're used for. So um, there might be a trophy for that. I didn't actually look that up because I didn't really care that much about that. I'm not really a trophy hunter guy unless it's like pretty easy to get them. Then I'll consider it. But if it's not that easy, then like there's one trophy or well, I guess it'd be on Xbox 360. Uh, it's it's worth one point, which like I said, I don't really care, but. I thought I'd point it out. It's worth one point on Xbox, which is ridiculous, but that's the only way to get platinum. And it's being uh, Gabriel Celeste in the Last Remnant game. Uh, well, no, not Last Remnant. Er no, not Last Remnant. Oh, crap. It's an, it's an Xbox game by Triace. That's why you can... Actually, I think it could just be anywhere in the sewers. I don't think I have to be anywhere specific. But basically, you have to do it in the sewers tw that heads towards the amusement park. So I assume it's just this area specifically. I don't, fishing didn't really say anything about a specific spot in that area. You just had to fish there. You know what I mean? Let's see if I find it. Oh, we found it. Hypothesis. Or maybe not. Garbage. Oh, well, okay. Gas cylinder. Okay, if it's an actual thing, it would be actually what it is. So, yeah, you can find some pretty weird stuff in fishing. Like, a lot of them are... You can see find actual fish, and then you'll find machine fish. So apparently, at some point, uh, oh yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but there's like a little seat there that, like a cybernetic or holographic seat appears all of a sudden while you're fishing. Yeah, happens with all the characters. Nice way to uh, uh, exhibit the butt, the buttocks, the but 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 the talks. I might have to cut to when I actually get the item. I think I might do that because I don't want to sit here forever waiting for something to happen if it's not going to happen so um yeah i'll uh, cut to when i actually get the item i want so i'll see y'all in a second Oh, that didn't take too long. I might just leave it in then. I just won't be talking for that minute, but... We find the iron pipe. That's the weapon we wanted, so... And I also got a tire, although I left that in there, so... Alright, well, that's it for fishing, anyway. Um, if you want to fish for all... I bet there is an achievement for getting all the fish. I bet. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but yeah, there's, like... And apparently you can capture, like, really huge fish, too. Like, you saw how much you can actually pull out. But yeah, basically if you f fish in every single fishing location, you should at least catch a different type of fish. If not the... Um, I think the sewer systems, you... Any sewer, you'll catch the... Uh, any of the trash items or whatever. But, um, and then obviously uh, the Pacific Ocean, the little lakes and rivers in the city area here. Um, I'm not going to show that off, but... Oh yeah, the little block off in the distance. Yeah, that's another treasure chest I missed. I thought I grabbed that one, but apparently I didn't. I must have bypassed it or something like that. Um, 
And then there's uh, where I fought the uh, where I fought those robots for that one dude in the ravine, uh, which is near here. If you drop down, you can find them. Uh, there's a lot box there, but like I said, I'll just do those whenever I. Uh, um, what'd be the closest place for that one? I guess four zone center. Oh yeah, because it looks like it's highlighted pretty close, so we'll get to that one. Um, but yeah, that's it for fishing items or whatnot. So anything else is either from quests or treasure chests I might have missed or or whatever. Um, I, have, I need to check and see how many weapons I'm missing. I think I'm only missing like a handful now. I'm surprised how many different weapons are in the game despite them not being drastically different in attack, uh, like the ways they attack. It's either small weapons, large weapons, fists, bare fists, or, you know, so, and they all pretty much attack the same. The only reason you're equipped like one over the other is because they have different, um, like equip bonuses or whatever. But, so it's almost like better just to equip the ones you want, um, for the most part. Oh, but yeah, there's a, I think, yeah, one of the locked boxes I missed is here in the forest. It's like, it's supposed to be like really, oh, maybe I had to, maybe I had to fight these guys. No, I didn't want to attack the freaking fours. All right, whatever. Oh, uh, no, no, oh. careful, careful. Ah, yeah. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, yeah, I unequipped the cooldown, like, timer on my thing, so I have no idea when my when my things wore out. I kind of just have to guess. Okay. Oh, yeah, now that I guess we found it. I guess beating the big guy was the filter. And there's really no reason looking for that trust right now is because I can't even open it, so A2 can't do that. I have to, I have to play the 2B path for that. So let me finish these guys off since they're being annoying. And I'm here already, so. I've noticed a lot of the HUD, uh, like, HUD parts of, of your chip program, a lot of them seem to be there just for convenience. Like, you could unequip most of them. Like, there's one that shows your HP bar, which, that can be kind of dangerous to not equipped if you're not familiar with, like, um, like how, like how much damage you take. Uh, yeah, those guys are repeating. Your king's dead. Oh, wait. We did kill him. Actually, A2 did kill the king. Did they ever explain why she did that? Oh, right, because she really hates machines. That's right. Like, she really hates uh, machines. I forgot about that. I was For a second, I, I, it was actually me, myself, thinking, it's like, why is he... Why is she doing the first one? Oh, right. Uh, that's pretty much the... Th okay. Where am I supposed to go next? Okay. Pa oh, right. She said that machine, machine so Pascal... Sorry, I spent like multiple hours uh, grinding for stuff I lost. So what do you want? What do you expect? That machine. It's more machine now than man. God, how many times have I said that? Over? That's the problem with like not recording. I record a lot of these in bulk, but then I'll take like long stretches of breaks in between because you know otherwise I'll get I'll get stir crazy playing the same game over and over again. Uh, but I'll forget certain jokes or comments I've made, so sometimes I'll repeat myself. Like an old man. This is what happens when you don't like kind of kind of draft out um, your your plan for commentary. But I'm not a professional, um, you know, commenter, whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to be getting a job for it. Ooh, iron pipe there. Oh, good. We actually have all the materials for it. Excellent. We can even upgrade to its final thing if we want. Whoa, that has a large attack difference. Look at that. It either goes from 114 to 836. And has critical and if you max it out, it has critical and high stun. Jeez. Actually, oh, uh, let me. Oh, you're talking about the guy in the forest? Uh okay. Let's see. Weapons. 74%. So if we're going by If we're going by everyone gives you a 6% drop, which I might be wrong on that. That's one, two, three. No, it can't be six, because that's even out. Maybe four? No, it can't be four either. Hmm. Well, anyway, we're, we're missing at least like a quite a few. We're at least missing like five or six, at least. Uh, what did you have again? You didn't have anything. Oh, yeah, you had experience gain up for some reason. Huh. Yeah, hmm. I really need to... Well, I guess I don't really need to max that out, but... 
Oh well. So just gotta remember that for later. All right, let's give this this bark or whatever it was uh, to uh, Pascal. Here's your stuff. Here's your stuff. Thank you so much. I'll make a filter right away. Please just give me one moment. You better. God, every time I see that. He can talk. Alert. The machine life for Pascal has returned. I mean, state the obvious there, dude. Okay, we did it. Oh, we saw the Tati, though. Okay. Yes. For free. No, well, I mean... Pay you back? What? But we had to perform a service for that. We saved... Wait, didn't we save Pascal? We don't have to pay for it. We saved the robot. From death. Whatever. Okay. Well, that sucks for you, I guess. Slay what? The robot? No, I don't want to, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's a quest. Alright, alright, alright. Vanquish the bot! What type of bot is it? Is it a go-bot? A magic vo-bot? I'm trying to remember all those robot shows when I was a kid. There was like ter Transformers, go-bots, or bots. Uh, oh, wow. It's one of those things. Alright. It's only going to take like a few seconds to do it. Well, that wasn't too hard. Oh yeah, here's one of the treasure chests I missed. Yeah, nothing really, not really worth mentioning. But I mentioned it anyway. Alright, I took care of your problem. That was easy. What else you got You got for me? Oh, I can't, I mean, I can't really look over her skirt because she doesn't have a skirt anymore. It's such a risque outfit. A2, you're living on the edge, girl. I almost kind of prefer the the full dress because I don't know. I'm more of a fan of covering up, like like exotic dresses because then it's like hiding something. But you don't actually want to see what it's hiding. It's all about the anticipation. You guys get what I'm saying, right? And gals, right? Right? Yes, I defeated the nasty creature. Yes. Here. Oh, sturdy sockets, memory alley. I don't think I really need those. I think I've got plenty, but eh. Well, too bad. Well, and then you need people to fight for you, so who really wins in the end? Like I said, it's best to at least... You, you know, you can still have peace and learn to defend yourselves. You know that, right? I don't know. Now I'm not a Well, I mean... I'm not really a pacifist, but I, don't, I wouldn't want to, like, hurt people either. But I still learn to defend myself. Okay. Make a firm note. I made, I made a note of it. No, oh, okay. Here's... I've already done that. If I feel like it, <laughs> you're just you're just just doing the whole doing the whole bad uh, tough tough badass thing, aren't you? Trying to you know what I feel like. I don't, I don't, I don't care about you all. I'm, I'm not scary. <laughs> yes. Wait, what? Your treasure? Did you actually build them though, or are they actually built out of treasure? They're tiny little hands. They, though they speak, smell of cabbage, though. Mm. Uh, unless I, I let you get killed, then they go on a rampage and destroy all the androids of the world. Oh. Well, storage unit. Well, that's just called a flat ass. For the children. Won't somebody think of the children? Oh, good. The factory, huh? Now, is it the actual, like, bottom part of the factory? Can I actually go to that now? Because I can't teleport to there. Eh, whatever. I'll do it. Don't I already have those? No, I guess not, because otherwise I could go back. That's Alright. Well, one of the few things I don't... What the? Big sis? Well, I guess I am bigger than you. In more ways than one. No. I don't want to play with machines. Yeah, exactly. Come on! I want to play! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm your enemy. Well, even the... even eh. Funny, but she could kill you with her sword, and you, you'll probably just respawn later. Uh, 
play. Make us something. She's a warrior. She's not a creator. Okay, well, you make it. It's boring. Seriously? Go, go have me buy you something. I'm not talking about a... Uh, talk about a brat. Oh, whatever. Fine. So we basically give in to peer pressure and then whining like children, which they are children, but still. And you're probably thinking to yourself, would you do that to actual children? Yes. Yes, I do. I do that to my nephew all the time. You do, huh? Mm. Well, how are you going to do that? You can hug him and squeeze him and... I can hug him and squeeze him and love him all day. <laughs> Stick around, leave before you get dragged. I always love the negative responses, even though the, it just doesn't get you the side quest. So. I can take the hint. What do you want? Okay. New philosophy. <laughs> Tell the machine to get bent. No, that, that's a that's a bend, bender type of a humor right there. Get bent, or Bart Simpson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go get you. Resin fragging rabbit. Anemone has it. Of course, we have to go talk to her. No better way. No better way, indeed. Oh, now there's. God, how many quests are popping up here? Like, popping up like goddamn jack in the boxes. Well, I might as well get them all before we call it an episode, at least. Alright, what do you want? Oh, it's part of the play. Okay, never mind. What? You don't carry it. What good are you? And then she just slices them in half. Okay. What more fetch quest stuff do I need to do? Man, for a game that everyone loves, and it's supposed to be like this really interesting story and everything like that, it has a lot of fetch quests. Yeah. Then again, I played RPG since I was a kid, and a lot of those have fetch quests, grinding, and whatever, so I guess I can't, I can't be complaining, right? I just usually expect more modern games not to uh, resort to those because back in the day they were there because you know they wanted you to play the game longer you know you you bought the game for so much you wanted to have your your money's worth nowadays it's just there's like a million games out there now it's all about well I guess keeping those in there would be to take your time but but anyway whatever. do I actually uh, of course I don't actually have the items for God what are we oops Oh, she's not saying it. Okay, this is going to suck. Why did she say that? Maybe I accidentally paused before she actually said the line. But yeah, she said this is going to suck. So, all right, where do we have to actually go? See, okay, for storage element. Yeah, I guess, okay, I guess we just go into the factory official. I wonder if we can actually go to the second or third floor, or if that's only during that one part of the game. Hmm. Uh, Let's see. There's the plot. We have to go back to... Oh no, that's where. I, whoops, that's where I am. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, looks like the. Uh, oh yeah, the park ruins is a few places too. So, all right. Well, we've got some more work cut out for us. So, in the next episode of Near Automata, I will we will do these side quests and then hopefully head on to the plot, depending on how long they take. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>